Ladies and gents, this is another episode of Reforestation Nation. We are with Donna Lanzetta, the CEO and founder of Mana Fish Farms. Donna, thanks so much for having us and inviting us to the Hansons. Thanks for coming out. Why don't we uh, take a walk and I'll tell you a little bit about the farm. Cool, let's do it. So Donna, I hear about aquaculture all the time, but I don't really think I understand it completely. What is it? Aquaculture is the farming of organisms in the marine environment. It encompasses uh, algae, macroalgae, also shellfish, uh, oysters, clams, mussels, scallops, as well as um, fin fish. Okay, so how did you find yourself, you know, in the Hamptons, growing some amazing, soon-to-be uh, fish farms uh, off the coast? Well, it really was a quest for a good, healthy piece of fish right. on my own personal journey. Uh, but uh, in the course of that, I learned that 91% of our seafood is currently imported in the United States. And a lot of that is not sustainably grown and not necessarily the healthiest for us. Because in the U.S., uh, in the world, more than half of the seafood consumed is farmed. Wow. And 60% of our imports are coming from China and only 2% are inspected. 2% in inspected, spot check. Yes. And you're saying that over 90% of all the seafood comes into the countries from other countries. That's right. So, so what does that do to our economy? Well, it's a $15 billion trade deficit. So uh, it's an issue. And we have to get out into the ocean yeah. and farm sustainably offshore. Okay, so let's talk about that. I think farming, I think not good. I think wild's better. Do you have wild seafood, sir? Okay, I'll have that. What do we need to know about that? Well, it's not just wild versus farmed anymore. Right. It's wild, but how was it captured? It's farmed, but how was it grown? Uh -huh. And you have to ask the questions, look for certifications that it was done responsibly, and uh, educate yourself, ask questions. So let's talk about hardware. It seems to me you got a lot of waves, you have all sorts of variables, ships, sharks, whales, waves. What kind of hardware is used in these offshore aquaponic uh, farms? It's a great question. Why don't I show you? So we are about to go see and go inside of this amazing structure. And I can't wait to ask Donna what exactly it is. Come on. So Donna, this is huge. This is US based, US grown. What is this? So this, Alex, is an automated feed buoy. Okay. It's used to feed the fish that are in submerged cages below. And this sits at the surface and services the offshore farm. It holds 20 tons of food and it can be accessed remotely to uh, feed the fish on days that we can't get offshore. It's a prototype that was developed by the University of New Hampshire. It's one of a kind. Um, I'd love to show you inside. So Donna, let's talk tech. This is green tech. People talk about new technology all the time. You have a solar powered diesel backup fish feed thing that has 20 tons of capacity. Is this not cutting edge? This is a robot. It's a prototype. Um, as I said, we're uh, looking to integrate wave energy and other renewable energy sources. The solar is great. Um, we're looking to increase the capacity. Uh, right now it only holds 20 tons, but um, you know, it's the future. So it's not every day you get to go inside of an automated machine that can feed hundreds of thousands of fish off the coast of the United States of America, built by homegrown U.S. folks. Uh, Donna, Mana Fish Farms are leading the way. Uh, aquaculture, new green tech. As always, subscribe to stay alive. Thanks for watching Reforestation Nation, where we interview impact leaders about how we can scientifically thrive with nature. And as always, subscribe to stay alive by clicking here and watch more content with us right here. Please click and subscribe. This is Martin from Seventh Generation. If there's any green guru, it's him. If he's doing it, I would do it too. Click and subscribe. To stay alive. We'll you think see they're you really time. gonna do that? I hope so. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Martin. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, Alex.